So you hear that sound? What is that? Something is wrong here. And it happens to be a small exhaust leak. I want to show you how exciting it could be that we can do this with household items and you can solve this little mystery, repair it yourself, save close to $1,000. Let's get to it. So here we are. I'm going to show you where I think the problem is. I haven't quite diagnosed it yet because I kind of want to do it live with you with the home products to do it. So my experience tells me that it's probably up here in this mesh area. Not every car has a flex pipe or mesh area. It's kind of like when you put the car in gear and the engine moves a little bit with the mounts. It gives that exhaust a space to go with it instead of hard solid metal mounted that would rip the gaskets out. So in here is where it's mostly compromised and that's why it's so delicate. And to test this with the car running, I'd have to put my hand up in here and hope to find the exhaust leak when this gets really hot and then, well, that wouldn't be pretty. You know how that would hurt. So we're gonna solve it and show you how to do it kind of a fun way. So let's just grab household items, empty spray bottle and some dish soap. So I'm gonna open that spray bottle drop a few drops of dish soap in there and regular water. I'm not going to use hot because I don't want that to expand and make more bubbles than needed because that's what's going to happen right there. It's good enough for me. So here we are back where the fun begins at the muffler and tailpipe and here are my household items. Soapy water, tape, and you guessed it, the shop vac. We're going to hook that shop vac up backwards. So we're going to blow air through the exhaust, spray the old soapy water, and we're going to make some bubbles. And the key to this is to do it when it's cold, not when it's hot. So let's put the actual connector on there, and then we're going to get our tape. We're just going to tape it up. It doesn't have to be pretty. So now let's get the vacuum side ready to go. The hose is on the intake, so this is where all the dirt comes in when you vacuum. But we want the other side. We want the exit. So the air comes blowing out of here and blows right into that exhaust. So before I turn that vacuum on and it gets too loud so you can't hear me, which I'm sure a lot of you are like, thank God. No, listen, we're going to use the soapy bubble. But I'm going to spray factory seams, which is like this muffler where it's fitted, any factory welds, and all the gaskets. So, once again, let's get into it. Eureka! There it is! Under that mesh, like I thought. All right, so we found it and it was fun, I have to say. You know, I really, it never gets old using the spray bottle. I just get excited because I did not know where the leak was. I wanted to solve it with you guys. Yeah, I knew it was in the mesh area, but I didn't know how bad or where it was. It could have been up at the top. But the good news is, is this pipe is so easy to do that on this particular car at least, in some cars it's even easier than this. It's a matter of four nuts. So you've got two right here a rubber hanger, and then you have one that goes right up in here, another flange to that manifold pipe, there's just two nuts on it. It's so easy, and you could be done, if I had to do this on my back as a pro, I could probably do it in a half hour. But if I was to do it at home and I wasn't a pro at it, but I was somewhat knowledgeable, an hour easy. So you think about that kind of money that you're gonna save if you buy this part and do this yourself, and you solved it yourself. Recheck it after you install it, do the bubbles again, and you'll see that everything is probably perfect. So that's what I call a short and sweet video. I mean, I had fun doing it, so hopefully you had fun watching it. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell because it turns on all your notifications and you won't miss any of these possibly hysterical videos. The best ever was Andy. Did you see him take the cap off the bottle with a karate kick? He literally does it, a backspin, boom, and kicks the thing right off. It flies right off. But well, hopefully you had fun and enjoyed watching this video. There you go. That's a wrap. <laughs>